Hey folks, I'm Chris and I'm your Commander Mechanic. Not everyone builds decks the same way. I'm not talking about cards in the 99, I'm talking about how they build their decks. Some people love deck building sites like my friends at Moxfield. Some people build by feel, throwing all of their favorite cards in a list. Some people head to EDH Rec and grab average lists and tweak along the way. And all of these methods are perfectly fine and viable. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But what about tactile deck building? Building from cards you own or have on hand, but don't have a deck to call home. As Magic players, we all have these. Piles of cards sitting around, unsorted, from new sets or old sets or half-baked deck ideas. Don't deny it, it is a universal truth. But how do we find the motivation to finish these decks? Or combine these seemingly disparate cards into a cohesive deck? That's what I recently did with my latest personal deck featuring Brutaclad Telcor Engineer. Gameplay linked at the end of the video. But I didn't start building around Brutaclad. I started with these piles and worked backwards to my commander. Let me explain. Often we build decks starting out with a goal. I want to build an Aristocrats deck, or I want to build a General Marhal deck. But what about emergent deck design? Let a deck decide what it wants to be. I took the piles upon piles of cards on my desk, ranging from pieces of decks I pulled apart, to favorite commanders that don't currently have decks, to cards I've purchased but haven't found a home for yet, and set my mind to sorting them. But it wasn't until I paid attention to them side by side, in my hands, that I realized they could work together. There were some of my favorite legends in these piles, like Delina Wild Mage, Rionia Fire Dancer, and Orvar the Allform. They all make copies, something I love to do but it never occurred to me to use them together, because, in my mind, they each belonged at the head of a deck. Then there were good cards from decks I took apart, like Stormkiln Artist, Theoretical Duplication, and Lithiform Engine, all sitting in piles waiting to find a home. But once I held them in my hands, I started seeing the connections, the synergies. Piles of new cards I ordered but didn't have places for, like the Peregrine Dynamo, Imposter Mech, and Arcane Bombardment, none of which struck me as build-arounds or must-haves, but all of them waiting for a home. It never occurred to me they could be a single home for all of these cards. That's when inspiration struck. There's a through line I could draw to a lot of these cards now that I had them in my hand and laid them out. I saw the synergies and worked backwards. These were cards I wanted in my 99. Sure, there were other cards in other colors in these piles, like Storm of Souls, or Tano's the Toymaker, or Body Count. But once I had all of these cards laid out, I could start seeing what fit themes and where major color identities were. It took me being hands-on with the cards, seeing the possibilities literally laid out in front of me before I realized what I could be building. You see, deck inspiration doesn't have to come from the top, it can come from the bottom. Like there are different ways of learning, there are different ways of building. You can start with a theme or a commander, or you can start with cards in the 99 and work your way back up to a commander and a theme. So noticing that a lot of these cards make tokens, like an ancient copper dragon which I just didn't have in a deck, I started to see a pattern. I could use a lot of these really neat cards and make a red-blue token deck. It gets them off my desk and it's a fun way to use these really neat cards, and use them together. At that point, I hadn't even started looking at commanders, but I started filling in more cards in the 99. Cackling Counterpart and Quasi Duplicate make tokens and are clone generators, fits the theme and does something that I love to do. And there was a Mirage Mirror in these piles. I can take the best creatures my opponents have and make copies of them with some of these spells. And if Orvar is in the list, I can use this Vesuvin Duplomancy that doesn't have a home yet. And they both work with this Arcane Bombardment, since a Bombardment casts the spells, which trigger both Orvar and Duplomancy. Oh, and that triggers Rionia spell cast count too, making more copies. That's really clever and something I didn't even think about until I held these cards in my hand, laid them out side by side on my desk, and took a step back. See how the synergies really started to click? It was at this point I started thinking about commanders, which red and blue commanders are token focused. I spun on over to EDH Rec and found the Locust God. Eh, more card draw focused I guess. Uh, Galazeth Prismari? That really wants us to be artifact heavy. How about Brutaclad? Oh, perfect. 
See, Brutaclad is a 6 mana 4 4 that gives tokens you control haste. Perfect if we're making copies of things, as there are spells in the deck that do exactly that. But also, Brutaclad makes you a 2 1 mirror at the beginning of combat, then turns all tokens you control into copies of a token you control. That's when the final pieces clicked into place for me, and all of these cards with a loose theme became a deck with a goal. I wasn't just making tokens, I was making my tokens dangerous. The line then became, how do I make a token copy of the most dangerous thing on the board, then turn all of my harmless tokens, like treasures and clues, into that thing? How many curiosity crafters can I make? How many cards would that even draw me? How many professional face breakers can I make, creating more and more treasures when they deal combat damage? And those treasures just turn into other creatures too. Can I make a dozen copies of Wandering Archaic to get multiple copies of my opponent's spells on each one of their casts? Once I had the core conceits of about 70% of the cards pulled together, just from piles on my desk, I started planning and plotting filling in the gaps now that I had a game plan, the pieces, and a commander. It was time to add the nuts and bolts to make it functional but stay on theme. I decided to put in cards like Liquid Metal Coating, Liquid Metal Torque, and Argent Mutation to cover mana ramp and targeted spells, but also to turn enchantments into artifacts to copy them with abilities from Orvar and Vesuvan Duplomancy. I could potentially make all of my tokens into Vesuvan Duplomancies, creating exponential token growth. I also knew I wanted Precursor Golem in here too, targeting one of my golems with a spell made more golems, which quickly makes more golems, again spiraling out of control quickly. And with this in mind, I wanted to include a few lands I didn't have homes for yet. Mirror Pool is a token clone maker on a land, Urza's Workshop is a new excellent copy target, and while most people put Urza's Saga in their decks to grab artifacts, I wanted to include it as a way to make those sweet construct tokens. Those get out of hand in multiples quickly. Basically, the deck helped build itself for me once I realized what it wanted to be. The design emerged from seemingly unconnected cards, creating a web of synergies and interactions. And I wouldn't have found it if I didn't physically lay the cards out together and look at them side by side. If you change your perspective when building your next deck, you might find a more enjoyable and motivating way of pulling together your next favorite lists. Have you ever built a deck this way? Take a pile of cards and find the deck within it? Let me know in the comments and be sure to share your deck lists too. Thanks as always to my sponsor Moxfield for making this video possible. Moxfield is the best deck building platform in the world, and once I saw this deck emerging, I rushed over there to catalog it. It makes it easy to fill in the gaps and to test it to make sure it actually works. Follow the link in the description to my profile and follow me there. And if you want to see this deck in action, click on this link to go see it as I play it over on Hijinx. And as always folks, good luck and have fun.